Symphony of Rain, a relentless cascade that transforms the landscape into a world both majestic and mysterious. The rivers swell, their banks surrendering to the relentless embrace of water, and the lake, once a placid mirror of the sky, becomes a swirling tapestry of life and debris. Standing at the water's edge, I often find myself lost in thought, captivated by the murky depths that conceal a vibrant ecosystem. Beneath the surface, life stirs, and I can almost feel the pulse of the lake, a heartbeat that resonates with the rhythm of the rains. For a month, the skies weep, and in that time, the lake rises, reclaiming the land and sweeping away everything in its path. It's a powerful reminder of nature's dominion, a force that reshapes the world with each drop that falls. I remember those days spent by the shore with my friends, nets in hand, laughter echoing against the backdrop of nature's symphony. We would venture out, excited and hopeful, our hearts set on catching fish, but what we truly sought were the moments, the memories woven into the fabric of our lives, the connections forged in the wild. Fishing during flood season is an art, a dance with the elements. The locals have their own methods, honed over generations, each technique steeped in tradition and secrecy. The high waters and strong currents present challenges, but they also offer opportunities. I recall a particular day when we decided to test our skills with a net. We scouted a spot where the current appeared gentler, our youthful enthusiasm blinding us to the lurking dangers. As we lowered the net, a sudden gust of wind swept through, fierce and unyielding, sending our net spiraling away. We raced after it, laughter mingling with shouts, our feet splashing through the shallow water, a chaotic ballet against the wildness of nature. In those moments, we often paused, letting the water flow around us, feeling the stillness that lay beneath the chaos. The murky depths held secrets, fish darting through flooded bushes, frogs leaping from one refuge to another, and the occasional turtle gliding by, indifferent to our presence. The flood season taught me that these creatures were more than mere targets. They were companions in a vast ecosystem, each playing a role in the intricate web of life. Every time we pulled up the net, it was not just fish we found, but a collection of life. Shrimps, frogs, turtles, each a testament to the richness of the flood season. One memory stands out vividly, a moment that transcended the act of fishing. While setting a trap, I caught sight of a magnificent snakehead fish, its scales glistening in the dim light. It swam with a grace that took my breath away, a warrior navigating the currents with strength and pride. Time stood still as I watched it, mesmerized by its beauty, momentarily forgetting my task. In that fleeting moment, I felt both insignificant and profoundly connected to the world around me. The flood season became more than a time for fishing. It transformed into a celebration of life, a reminder of the wonders nature offers. Yet, not everyone shares this reverence for the natural balance that flood season embodies. Some view the waters merely as a resource, a means to an end, their greed overshadowing the wisdom of sustainability, overfishing, habitat destruction. These are the consequences of a mindset that prioritizes immediate gain over long-term harmony. I have witnessed the decline in fish populations, the once bustling fishing trips now marred by empty nets and prolonged searches. It leaves me pondering, what can we do to protect what remains? How can we instill a sense of responsibility in those who only see the lake as a source of profit? Flood season, with all its challenges, is also a vital part of our culture, a teacher of patience and respect. Each visit to the lake is not solely about the pursuit of fish. It is a journey steeped in discovery, a way to connect with the values passed down through generations. My grandparents shared stories of their own flood seasons, tales of bountiful catches, and the lessons learned about living in harmony with nature. Those stories are etched in my memory, guiding my actions and shaping my understanding of our place within this intricate web of life. As the flood season approaches, I find myself preparing with a sense of anticipation. It's not just about bringing home fresh fish, it's about experiencing the magic that unfolds in the embrace of nature. I yearn to pass this knowledge to the next generation, 
to instill in them an appreciation for the flood season as a time of renewal and opportunity. I want them to understand that this season, while challenging, is a vital part of our existence, a rhythm that connects us to the earth and to each other. With understanding and respect, I believe we can navigate the delicate balance between our needs and the needs of the ecosystem. The flood season should not merely be a time of struggle, it can be a celebration of life, a reminder of the beauty that surrounds us. As I stand by the lake, watching the waters rise and fall, I am filled with hope, a hope that we can learn to coexist with nature, honoring the gifts it provides while safeguarding the future for generations.